Cliff's Rocky Moment is great for two reasons. One, it's just a really good episode of Cheers. But two, this is the first story that we get that's all about Cliff, where Cliff is the most important character. In season one, there were often times where he barely had anything to do with the episodes. In season two, his involvement has started to increase. And this is a great sign of things to come. Of course, I won't spoil anything for future episodes, but there will probably be spoilers in this discussion for this particular episode. It's the 16th episode of the second season. It's directed by the wonderful James Burroughs. And Cliff is doing what Cliff does best and shares his little-known facts. And while most people tire of Cliff's little-known facts, somebody in the bar actually really dislikes Cliff. It's a character called Victor. He's played by Peter Ian Congello, or Ian Singello. I apologise if I completely mispronounced that. And he starts to say really horrible things to Cliff, which I don't like. You know, if people are fed up of his little-known facts, they just kind of brush him off or ignore him. But when somebody challenges him like this, it's really uncomfortable to watch. And there are times when Cliff looks really, really sad and really dejected, and I don't like that. But it works well for the narrative. Carla, in particular, encourages him to challenge him to a fight, confident that this guy doesn't actually want to physically fight Cliff, so it will never come to anything. But whether or not that happens, I won't say. But it is unpredictable. One of my favourite scenes, as I said, there are, of course, spoilers here. One of my favourite scenes is when when Cliff does his karate demonstration. And I thought, oh, that's impressive. He he was telling the truth. He, he does know karate. And it played out well. <laughs> and then he confessed to Diane he needed to go to the hospital. And I just thought it was so well played and so effective. And the look on Norm's face when the wood splintered and you know everybody clapping and cheering for him. Because we'd spend most of the episode with people, well, one person being really nasty to him. It was just a lovely moment to have everybody celebrating Cliff. And it kind of helped lift that negative feeling that I'd felt throughout the episode. Not that I didn't enjoy the episode, but obviously it, w- it was very emotional when you're a fan of Cliff, as I'm sure most people are. It- it's not nice to see him being hurt or being, you know, put down like that. But it is very effectively done, uh, and John Ratzenberger gave a, a wonderful performance throughout. We also have a, a subplot involving mostly Sam and Diane and football predictions. And I want to praise the episode for making me interested, because I don't care about football. Very much like Diane, my knowledge is not that great. And I still found that part of it to be really fascinating. It mostly looked at probability and how... Having a system when you're, you know, making these bets and things doesn't always mean anything, as we see with Diane's very seemingly haphazard approach. She had a logical approach in her mind, but to anybody else, her way of making predictions was just nonsense, and yet it still paid off. And I thought that was very thought-provoking, and and they made it entertaining. If a show can talk about football and keep me engaged, I think it's doing something right. Right. Really brilliant episode. Obviously, it's it's a perfect time for Cliff, for him to have uh, a chance in the spotlight because we've really got to know the character over the you know the earlier episodes in season two in particular, and I feel like it would have never been too soon to introduce him more. But I'm glad that we are starting to head in a a different direction with Cliff. But I won't I won't say any more about what's in store. But if you haven't seen future episodes and you are a fan of Cliff. I just say stay tuned because there are some great things to come. Really brilliant episode. No complaints whatsoever. Oh, actually, something I did forget to mention is that we had another supporting character. Usually with Cheers, we will just have one character brought in. That'll be, you know, they'll be there for one episode and that's it. But actually, we also have Lewis, played by Sam Scarber, who Cliff brings along for protection, basically. Uh, And that's, that's unusual to have another character. Uh, another supporting character in an episode. But it worked very well. Great to see another character in the same uniform as Cliff. There was just something about that that visually worked really well. Um, Yeah, nice to have several other supporting characters and ultimately a really enjoyable episode. 